Hello guys and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a video on uh, Modafinil or Armodafinil, um, these bad boys. I haven't done a video like this in a long time and I know you guys like me talking about different drugs openly and honestly. So let's get into it. What is Modafinil? Um, why has it become so popular recently? Um, and let's just dive into it. So I've known about Modafinil for quite a while now. Uh, it's been around for quite a long time, but I never actually bothered to get it and use it myself until I got it as a freebie one day uh, during one of the first lockdowns last year and it gained, I got a lot of interest from it um, and then for, since then in chat rooms I've just seen it, use of this stuff explode, uh, especially amongst students. So we're going to go into why, what exactly does this thing do, um, does it actually make you smarter or more focused or is that just mis-selling? First things first, what is the legality behind this? So I know it for the UK because I live there. Um, as far as other countries are, you know, you're going to have to look up yourself and make sure that you're not breaking the law by buying these. Um, in the UK, it's same as steroids. So it's a Class C controlled substance that you're allowed to buy and use for personal use, but you're not allowed to sell. So it's exactly the same. And what prompted me to make this video was I saw a news article pop up literally today about um, universities trying to crack down on modafinil dealers um, that are running rampant in universities and selling to all the students or I mean, most of the universities are shut, all the universities are shut now, but um, that's one of the reasons almost that the, the sale of these has gone through the roof. And I still haven't explained actually what it is. So modafinil was originally created for people with narcolepsy. Narcolepsy is a condition where you just randomly fall to sleep um, and take like micro sleeps throughout the day, you can't control it. Um, and you may have seen some documentaries on it, um, it's quite a debilitating condition and this drug was made specifically for that. Um, and essentially what it does is it tricks the brain into a state of awakeness. So it doesn't work like other stimulants that you may be thinking of like Adderall, caffeine, any kind of like stimulant at all, it doesn't work in the same way but it has similar effects. For people with narcolepsy it basically keeps them awake all day and means they can actually have a functioning normal life. For regular people what does it do? Essentially it's been hailed as the limitless drug um, around and it's kind of catchy and I can see why it's got that name um, because it's meant to increase your focus, your motivation, your concentration, it keeps you awake and alert. Um, that's the, all the positives, it sounds amazing but there are a lot of downsides to it as well and I wanted to cover this properly because I've had a decent amount of use with this now. I know a lot of other people who have had first hand use of it and have told me what it's done for them and the negatives and the positives and sort of rolled it all into one here. Currently there are two versions of modafinil. There's modafinil and this version, armodafinil, which is a newer version, um, which is more potent and armodafinil and modafinil are very, very similar. There are slight changes in their chemical makeup. Their half-lives are very, very similar um, but their strengths are different. So modafinil are generally always dosed at 200 milligram tablets. Armodafinil are dosed at 150 milligram tablets, which is the equivalent of 200 milligrams of modafinil. So they're stronger slightly, and this strength you definitely notice. I've noticed this, the strength difference in armodafinil are a lot more potent than regular mods. Uh, I'm gonna nickname them mods now, because it's just easier. So regular mods, um, they generally take quite a long time to kick in. Um, and they don't have as strong an effect of that focus and concentration. Whereas armodafinil, when they kick in, they, you really notice a sudden increase in focus. You can sort of laser in on things. Um, that isn't always the case, by the way, but I'm just kind of describing the difference in potency. For mods, I would take a 400 milligram dose, and going above that dose doesn't do anything. It just increases any negative effects. Um, with Armodafinil, I would take 300 milligrams um, and that would be it. Uh, it's important when you take it, make sure you don't take it too late in the day because otherwise you're going to have some problems sleeping later at night, but we're going to cover that in the negatives. First, we're going to go through all the benefits of both of these. They're both very similar, it's just one is slightly more potent than the other. The half-lives are very similar, so um, although I find that Armodafinil has a stronger hit quicker, but then it fades off faster and I found the negative effects of this one tend to be a little bit harsher than regular modafinil, but it kind of it kind of depends. Um, I've heard other people say it's the other way around, and they find this one, our modafinil, has less negative side effects than modafinil. So it, it, I think it just varies person to person, and this drug obviously isn't made for normal people. You kind of just have to take it with a pinch of salt. So firstly, 
the positives that I've experienced and can attest to are true are the focus, concentration and motivation side of things. So I first took these during lockdown, um, working from home in the same spot. It can be really hard to motivate sometimes. It can be really difficult to just start working, especially when you've got distractions on, like the TV on Netflix all day and we didn't have a proper office back then. So I was literally just sitting in the living room trying to focus and get stuff done and it just wasn't happening sometimes. Um, so on those days, I tried it out and my God, if you use it sparingly, it can be really good. So um, I had a day where I had like five programs to make and I had a bunch of other stuff that I needed to do and a ton of people to chase up a message, like leads and stuff. I took two regular modafinil. I didn't have the armor ones at that point. And within about an hour and a half, I suddenly found that I was able to sit at my laptop, have my document open that I needed to do. And I was just doing it. I was lasered in. I wasn't getting distracted too much. And in a few hours, I'd literally done more work than I'd done in the entire previous week. And I was like, I was kind of blown away at how much it had helped me focus. And uh, in the chat rooms and other people I've talked to have said that it, all of them have said it has given them crazy amounts of focus but this can be a negative as well in that sometimes you can take this and if you don't get into the right task you're doing you can end up just scrolling through your phone for hours and hours and you'll be concentrating on your phone but you're not actually doing what you're supposed to be doing so although it increases focus and concentration it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to use it for the right thing but that's why a lot of students have started using it i can understand trying to study from home might be difficult with you know distractions noise around you so th these have just been setting like wildfire basically. Now I'm a normal person, I don't have attention deficit disorder or anything like that, but I've talked to some people who do and have used this and they say that it has an even greater effect for them than I've felt. They say it's incredible um, for them, has like an Adderall type effect, um, except it's not a stimulant, so you don't have that same crash afterwards that you would have from something like caffeine or Adderall, etc. Uh, my friend who's got attention deficit disorder um, he's found it like, works wonders for him and he's started using it quite regularly but then he's noticed some negatives from using it too regularly. Another benefit uh, from it, but some people may see it as negative, is the appetite suppression effect of this. I found this is particularly strong um, in the sense that you can literally not eat for 12 hours and not even feel slightly hungry in the same way you would as if you would have it like having loads of stimulants. Um, so for me, someone who was trying to diet um, at the time, it was really useful. Obviously, if you're trying to bulk up or you're trying to eat more, not ideal because it really does crush your hunger. So you can still eat, but you really have no desire to eat, and that feeling of hunger just isn't there whatsoever. Um, completely removes some, like appetite. I'd say for at least a good between six and twelve hours, it kind of depends. But by that, I mean you could be starving, have two of these and then you wouldn't feel hungry for 12 hours even though you haven't eaten already. Your stomach might feel weird and squirrely, um, but you wouldn't actually be hungry. And that's another thing I have to point out. I'd avoid having these on an empty stomach. Um, they can make your stomach feel a bit weird, can give you that sort of churny, horrible feeling. So I'd always have these with some food, especially as after taking these, you're probably not gonna wanna eat much. It's good to have that food in your stomach. Cause otherwise it can be quite unpleasant. Like I've had it before and I've, I've been focused, but my stomach's been doing all these tossing and turning and it just made it impossible for me to get anything done because you keep thinking about the it's almost painful in a way so I'd advise against doing that if you're going to use these and the final benefit I got from this was a slight buzz off them in a sense so what I mean by that is it was it wasn't as the drugs were kicking in or anything like that it was later on in the day when I'd got a lot done and I just felt amazing I felt you know you get that rush after an amazing gym session <coughs> that release of serotonin um, it felt kind of like that and I did some digging and talking to some people and apparently it can help um, release dopamine so that's where that comes from. I've only felt this a couple of times. It's only mild. It's like as if you had a great workout session and you know that sort of euphoria afterwards. I had that from doing loads of work and it may have been from the, the drug or it may have been from me actually just accomplishing something with the day and you know it made me feel really great. So. Um, that's pretty much all of the positives I felt from it. Um, it can be really good, but there's obviously a downside like everything. So firstly, your tolerance builds up pretty quickly. Um, I'd say after around five days of using it in a row, its effectiveness drops a lot. Um, and like I said earlier, the, 
the negatives begin to stack up more the longer periods of time you take it. I found it was most effective if you take it sparingly um, when you really need it. You know, those days you feel tired, lethargic, you really can't concentrate. Those days, if you use it like that, it will always have a really good effect for you. But once you start to take it day after day after day, um, your tolerance builds and taking more of this above the doses I stated earlier doesn't change that, okay? You just start getting more of the negative effects which I'm about to talk about and it doesn't actually make you any more concentrated. So once your tolerance builds up, you have to let it like subside before you can get that same sort of effect from it again. Taking more has no um, positives. It won't, it's not like other drugs where you, know, you build your tolerance up, you take more um, to count the tolerance effect. It doesn't work the same way, this. So just be very aware of that. The main negative for me that really put me off using this regularly is the headaches and increase in blood pressure that can occur. Um, and the headaches are nasty. And uh, so I'm not somebody who ever gets headaches, but when I was taking these, I was getting them a lot more regularly. And it wouldn't be while the drug was in effect, it'd be more in the later stages of the day when it was fading off. I would get some blinding headaches, like some that would seriously, uh, really bad ones. And I'm, I'm someone, like I said, I never get headaches. So that was 100% the cause of it. Um, and these can also increase your blood pressure too, while using them, which again can have an effect on causing headaches. Um, and can actually make you feel more lethargic. Higher blood pressure is never something that's good. Uh, I also found, like I said, when I've done m multiple days of these in a row, the frequency of getting headaches and the length of them and the intensity of them would get worse. Um, I've heard a lot of people say the same. Some people never get any headaches using them. Some people can't use it at all without getting a headache like immediately. So it really depends. Um, they, for me, they lasted anywhere between half an hour and like six hours. Um, so it can be quite debilitating to be honest. Um, so you have to be careful with that as an effect. They can also give you uh, shakes and a sort of anxiety. So anyone who's ever taken Clembuterol before, I can describe the effects almost like that. So when you've taken too much of the Clen and you, you're shaking like crazy, it's like caffeine shakes as well, caffeine anxiety if you've ever had that, where you've taken or drank too much caffeine and then you start getting some crazy shakes um, you feel paranoid, you're looking around yourself all the time, you, you know, you're shaking, you feel weird. That's something that can occur with these, especially if you mix it with caffeine uh, or any other stimulant. Um, and I would warn you, although it's not a stimulant itself, be careful mixing it with stimulants because it does amplify the effect uh, quite a lot, it seems. So I was mixing these with just a, a standard coffee um, and the, the difference with the coffee and without was very noticeable. The coffee increased its strength a hell of a lot, uh, and sometimes it made it to the point where if I'd had you know two coffees, and I hadn't really realised I'd had two coffees that day, I'd be like starting to shake like crazy from having too much caffeine mixed with it, um, and it stops you from concentrating. You get anxious, so it definitely stacks with stimulants, and it also does have interactions with other drugs. So if you're taking any other medicine, just really read through the pamphlet that comes with it, or make sure there's no um, dangerous drug interactions with what you're currently taking. Another downside to this is obviously it makes you awake, it makes you alert, um, except when you go to bed that doesn't just forget about it, it's still in your system going so it can cause you to have insomnia. I haven't had this issue because I, I always take it in the morning. If it gets to midday or later I never even bother because it's too late in the day and it's going to keep me up at night. Um, it, it's Half-life is really long so you really do have to take it first thing in the morning um, to get you going. If you take it later in the day in the evening, be expected to be up all night um, struggling to sleep. And finally, they do definitely have an addictive effect to them. Basically what can happen is, if you start to rely on these to focus and get that effect of concentrating with them, when you stop using them, you'll really struggle to focus um, or get anything done and that's just going to make you turn back to the drug to focus again. And before you know it, you're going to become reliant on using it. And that's never good. Um, I would treat these like a pre-workout and you should only have them as and when you need. Pre-workout shouldn't be used for every workout. These shouldn't be used for everyday use in my opinion because otherwise you're just going to end up needing them to do the work or concentrate. So I, I think I've covered everything there and all in all it is, I would say, a good drug. It has its uses but you've definitely got to be considering 
of side effects and not to use it too much. And also there's no guarantee that where you get it from is actually gonna be what you buy. You should have to be kind of careful that you're getting it from a good source. There's all these problems with buying something that's not strictly legal as such. It's not something that I'm ever really gonna use again, but I was interested to try it out for a time. Uh, especially during lockdown, it did help me get a lot of work done some days, but those headaches for me, and sometimes the shakes and that, were just not worth it. They were really, they really put me off using it. I hate having headaches. Uh, of all things, I think I'd almost rather be throwing up than have a headache. So for me, they were great to try out, but um, not for me. Uh, I will just stick to my coffee and that's good enough. Oh, finally, I completely forgot. Using it as a pre-workout. Some people have done this. Um, I did this as well and I do not rate it whatsoever. Um, although these are good for mental focus, which you might think, great, that's you know, gonna get me in the mood for a workout. I found that when I tried to work out, I was very shaky. Um, I didn't have the same strength I normally have. I just felt really off. Um, my heart raced a lot quicker than it should have done and I didn't enjoy my training session at all. It was a bad training session and yeah, I wouldn't recommend using these for a pre-workout. Some people think it's great. I just didn't like it at all and I think it's best that you use these doing something stationary on a computer or writing or reading or etc. Um, as something to be used while doing physical activity, I would say maybe not. Um, so yeah, now I've covered everything. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video found it useful or found out some information you didn't know already. Um, I'll be doing lots more of these on loads of different stuff. I've taken a ton of different things in my time. So I was gonna just do a bunch of honest reviews on all of these things and hopefully they can be useful to some people and stop some people fucking themselves up because there's so many people out there who still take all this random stuff and have no idea what it actually does. And then come to me on Instagram and ask me why they've got terrible gyno from running a ridiculous cycle with no AI or CERMs or anything and it's just like they don't even know what they are. So hopefully they can stop some people screwing themselves over. Um, like I said with these, don't screw yourself over by taking them with too much of a stimulant. I honestly, you could probably have a heart attack because of that. Um, caffeine can give you a heart attack. So you know, just be aware, be careful with everything you use. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time.